Good morning, folks. If you didn't catch last night's show, Earth got lucky as a meteor potentially almost twice as big as Tunguska buzzed Earth's North Pole half the distance from us to the moon. Information in last night's show, we also took a look at CMEs off the eastern limb and new sunspots born on the Earth-facing disk. So let's start there over at spaceweathernews.com. This dark coronal hole dominates the equatorial regions, while the bright snapping on the north is from the brief sunspot uptick underway. Solar flaring has not been impressive as of yet, but we have seen some crackling and plasma motion, but the releases have been minor and most of the would-be ejecta has been caught in the corona and not erupted into space. The solar wind continues calming, Got both ACE and Discover here, so you can see more of Discover's error readings. Those have been happening since it launched. Indeed, that true calming stream leaves Earth's shield quiet this morning. In this coronal hole amplified view, we can see that connection to Earth is going to begin today. That earthquake warning mentioned yesterday is about to kick in. Now let's go to NASA's big exoplanet Hunter mission and directive. There are currently 3,700 exoplanets confirmed. Kepler has opened the door, but a new satellite, TESS, is about to open a floodgate. It is expected to spot more than 15,000 exoplanets, including those in the Earth size range, numbering in the hundreds. TESS launches today, everyone, and the future is here. The University of Washington is telling us that many of those discovered exoplanets will eventually be ejected from their systems, Good article on binary ejection, which reminds one of the news that rogue planets do outnumber stars in this galaxy. Let's come back home to the Pacific, where the La Nina signal is fading, not only at the surface, but in the deep waters where heat is waiting to return us to ENSO neutral in the coming months. Sticking with heat, there is a broad critical fire danger today in the southwest. It's turning into an extreme risk tomorrow as high winds are expected across hundreds of thousands of square miles with nearly 10 million people under the watch. Now let's go the other way. Another hailstorm pounds northern India, these the size of cricket balls. Meanwhile, the system continued dropping dangerous conditions across the east into Vietnam. Thousands of homes, thousands of acres, and entire livelihoods erased. This, of course, reminds many of you in the U.S. and Canada of that spring that has gone missing. Between record snow across a few states, record cold cropping up in the mix, and power outages from freezing rain and ice, this is going to be an April to remember. Of course, there is more coming, which you're going to see here at the end of the show. That would be the wind maps and shots of our star to close. I am hoping to do a major solar cycle science lesson this afternoon. Don't miss it if you're into these topics. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.